Retired naval submarine captain uh, Nick Cruz wrote a letter to his adult children to let them know how disappointed he is in them. Okay. Uh, apparently, uh, one of his children, uh, Fred, he's 35. You know, he's working at a, like a taxi company. He didn't really do much in terms of a career. Uh, then he has a 38-year-old daughter uh, who is divorced and is a single mother of two, and he's really upset about that. So he sent them what he refers to as a shitogram. Okay. <laughs> I already love this. Yeah. So, um, and by the way, this. His kids aren't talking to him. Only one of his children, uh, by the name of Emily Cruz, who's 40, she's the only one who's talking to him, and she's hoping that you know she can get the family to come together again. Well, but, you see why the other kids aren't talking to him after you read his shit or crap. Right. So he talks about how disappointed he is. Let me give you a few uh, parts of the email. He says, "It is obvious that none of you has the faintest notion of the bitter disappointment each of you has in your own way dished out to us." <laughs> awesome. He continues, fulfilling careers based on your educations would have helped, but as yet none of you is what I would confidently term properly self-supporting. Which of you, with or without a spouse, can support your families, finance your home, and provide a pension for your old age? Let's stop there, because this is basically him saying, I am 67 years old. And I'm still paying for your sorry ass. Yep. You guys are like 38, you're in your 40s. For Christ's sake, get a job. Yeah. Uh, he's so tired, you can tell. He, he provided a private education for them and gave them all the opportunities necessary to, you know, create a great life for them. Um, and apparently, they screwed up royally. Every time that there was an important decision to make, they always made the wrong decision. That's what According he says. According to him. Yeah. But it, I'm going to read more, but I just want to make one quick comment. You know, he's very upset at them over like divorces and the fact that one of his daughters is, you know, a single mother of two. But you don't know what happens in people's lives. You don't know how the relationship turns out. I mean, it's much worse for someone to remain in an unhappy relationship uh, than to just call it quits. And, 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 you know, it's hard to be a single mom. But No, it's, no, I know all that, yeah. right? And, uh, but a part of me reading the whole thing made me think, I kind of believe him. Like, uh -huh. he's going way too far, right? But it, like, it's one thing, you get divorced, of course, that happens all the time, right? He thinks that they're being really flippant about like, oh my God, I'm in love, oh no, I'm out of love like six months later. Now, I don't know, of course, the circumstances are, but we do know, according to him, that they don't have great jobs either. So it's like, hey, you know what? And you don't, sometimes that happens too. But a combination of all those things, yeah. and you're beginning to wonder if he's right about his shit or great. Yeah, uh, he continues, and I think this kind of proves what you're saying. Each of you is well able to earn comfortable living and provide for your children, yet each of you ha has contrived to avoid even moderate achievement. Far from your children being able to rely on your provision, they are faced with needing to survive their introduction to life with you as parents. <laughs> Damn, this is harsh, man. This is really, really hard. Yeah, and, and he basically says, like, if it weren't for your children, I wouldn't even give a shit about you. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I wouldn't contact you, I wouldn't help you. The only reason why I'm helping you is because, you know, I have six grandchildren and I have another one on the way. Yeah, you know, you gotta get awfully tired of your kids to send this kind of letter. I don't know that my kids could be a, enough of a screw up for me to get that pissed at them. Yeah. And I don't know, it's, it's pretty harsh. Uh, uh, jury's out on it for me. Okay, uh, there are a few more. You want me to keep reading? Let's read one more. It's uh, graphic 112, Jesus. Uh, he says, uh, you know, basically that each one of them crashes from one cock up to the next. Uh, I, don't, <laughs> I like that part. He's from the UK. What does that mean? Like, I'm sure I, it's a screw up, right? Yeah, but I, up. I love the British terms. Yeah. Cock up sounds 10 times worse. It does. Uh, it makes us weak that so many of these events are capitulation uh, driven and then helplessly to see these lovely little people, referring to his grandchildren, being so woefully let down by you, their parents. Uh, copulation driven. Copu copulation. So in other words, you're fucking around too much. Yeah. You cock up. <laughs> All right, uh, real quick ruling. Uh, who's right, the kids or the dad? Go. I don't know anything about the kids, so I can't make I know, a ruling. Of course, but what do you mean? That's never stopped us before. I, I feel bad judging people I don't, well, I, I always judge people I don't know, but <laughs> I do, I, I do that do. for a living. But at least you have some evidence of the other side, and in this case, we don't have any evidence of the other side, so I'm going yeah, to... Yeah, he seems like he might be a cranky old dick. Yeah. On the other hand, they might be cock-ups. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, recuse okay, myself. Okay, all right, fair enough. She's being too fair. 
Uh, Jesus, uh, let's just skip to the uh, final answer. The kids are guilty. Come on. Let's kids are guilty, right? Like it, 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 it would have to take a lot for a dad to do that, I think. Yeah. Like, and he might be a real crabby old dick, like yeah. I said, right? But that being said, it's, it's not like any of the kids are teaching at Oxford. <laughs> right? Now, that's too hard a standard, of course, of course, right? But I, I'm with Jesus. I'm based on very little evidence and only hearing one side. I vote cock-ups. <laughs>